it's not a reading vlog it's not a week it's not a reading vlog it's also the first week of the magical readathon which i'm very casually participating like i'll just be reading whatever i want and then like seeing whatever prompts they might fit but for this week we're starting off with a library book haul and a book haul because i went to the library today and i also stopped by the bookstore because i have a problem so let's just delve into things let's start with like repeats i have as good as that by holly jackson which i'm actually 204 pages into i started reading this uh, with the end of my last vlog didn't get around to finishing it before today so that is getting read this week but more about it later then we have night of the dragon by julia kagawa which i've been meaning to finish the series for so long and i just i need to do it this month like i have no excuse as so it's why i haven't read this yet so we're doing it and then I have The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Warren, which is the fourth book in the Trials of Apollo series. I meant to get book four and five, but book five is a lend out currently, so I only have book four, which means I won't be able to finish the series this month like I planned, but we're dealing with it. And I actually didn't talk to you about this in the last vlog, but I put a hold on the second book in the Wilkesby series because I've been reading that digital digitally through like my iPad, like my um library's like ebook app. But for some reason they don't have the second book on there, but they do have it physically, so I like requested it, put a loan in because there was some pun before me. And then last week we got a notification that I came in, so I went to get it Wednesday. And I put in like a little vlog clip of like me holding it in the street. But like I didn't explain it, but like I also have it. And then we have Book of Night by Holly Jackson. Um by Holly Jackson. Holly Black. Holly Jackson is a different book. This um I've heard like very negative reviews for this book, but I'm still very curious to read it. And even though it's edition and that's just like gorgeous, I didn't buy it because of that because I don't want to give my money to that. Like look look at look at these stencil edges. Gorgeous. And then I don't know if you can tell but like the naked hardback is like glittery so beautiful also for some reason this is like massive like <laughs> whenever i see um this book in like american book tours video it's just, like this thin of a book and like for some reason this one is 500 pages i don't know what what went wrong now and then i also got the first three volumes in the monster manga series by naoki Urasawa. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. A couple of booktubers that I follow I've been reading this lately, mainly Katie Coulson, um, and make me interested in reading them, especially because my library has this series. They don't have a lot of manga. It's like the only way that I can access manga right now is through my library, and I've read most of the series that they have, but I haven't read this one yet. And I'm currently actually in the middle of the first one. I'm in the middle. I like quite a bit away left, but I'm in reading the first volume, and I'm really liking it. So that's that. And then for actual books that i purchased with my money we have the school for good and evil by saman chanani i'm so sorry i mispronounced that again i've been so excited to read this book for so long because i read so many good things about it and recently got translated into dutch and like i'm so hyped i'm also getting a netflix adaptation which is also like a reason that i want to read it the movie's going in october i believe so i want to read this before it comes out and then i also have two romances I have It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, which again was recently translated into Dutch. I'm very excited to give this a read. And then I also have Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas, which I was surprised to see because typically we don't really get like self published stuff. And I believe Penelope Douglas self publishes all of her stuff. But again, this is a book I've been meaning to read for a while, especially since I've been getting into romance because I've heard so many great things about this. So yeah. But like I said, I am currently reading these two books and I'm very excited to be reading them. I'm also reading Lock Every Door by Riley Sagar. I'm liking that as well. since we last talked i apologize i need to get better at vlogging but i'm here and let's talk about what i've been reading this week so the first thing i finished this week is monster volume one by noki uasawa i it is five five stars i really love this 
in this like manga series we follow this guy who is a surgeon in germany and like one day he kind of like is about to like perform surgery on this little kid and then like the mayor comes in and like the director is like hey you should pop you should operate on the mayor because you're the best surgeon but he's like mm, the little kid was first so he ends up like operating on this little boy instead and going against like you know higher orders and that like, gets him kind of like in this bad position but like a couple of days after that actually like the heads in the hospital all end up like mysteriously dying and this kid that he operated on is like disappears while he like was barely even like conscious so you know suspicious things happen there's technically more to the synopsis but i feel like that's like all you gotta know because like there are some reveals in this that you otherwise would be spoiled for but i generally really enjoyed this like i said i started by stars but like the beginning of this just i don't know i was liking it and i was understanding the hype and i was very interested i thought it had some like interesting commentary going on I really like even had like a little creepy factor but like overall I was just I don't know it felt more like a four star and then like the end like towards like this chunky over here or something some wild reveals happen and I was just like shocked and I was like blown away so that's also why I don't want to talk too too much about this because those reveals chef's kiss so great and I'm very hyped to continue on reading with the series but i only have the three volumes right now so i'm like pacing myself and then yesterday i actually also finished as good as dead by holly jackson which is the third book in the good girls guide to murder series which that series starts off with pip and in our town like this murder happened like this appearance of this girl but then like while they're investigating it her boyfriend like ended up committing suicide and the police has kind of seen it like oh he killed her and now he killed himself out of guilt and then there were a couple of years later and Pip is in her last year of high school and she has to do like this project and she decides to do it on this murder case because she doesn't believe that's what actually happened and she wants to like find out what really happened and then this is the third book give this one star I hated it and I've seen a lot of like negative reviews for this book so I should have expected it but like also kind of was like mm, maybe not because like I'm not as even though I like this series, I'm not as attached to it as like the biggest fans. So maybe they were just like disappointed by things. But this was just this this was really bad, like generally really bad. I thought like the this is basically split into two parts, like literally actually, by the writer itself. Let me try and find. Alright. So <laughs> split up in two parts, as you can see. The first part I thought was interesting. I feel like a big complaint on this book is that it's like very dark compared to the first two, which it is. But I kind of liked it. I really liked like the different discussions in here around the trauma that Pippa's went through in the first two books because she's been through a lot. So I really liked seeing that discussed in here dealing with it in her mental health and like stuff like that. I didn't mind the dark stuff. I thought the mystery was interesting. But I just thought it was like very slow moving and Pip's inner monologue was like very repetitive, which got like very annoying. And then we got basically the solution to the mystery like about here and i hated that because it was like very obvious and it made me like you want to scream at pip that she like didn't figure it out at all while she has been like so smart in the first two books and boy i didn't even know it was coming because i thought this was like a three star you know like pretty average but like i wasn't hating it but then like this this brought it down so so much like every single decision pip made in the second part of the book the most stupid decision she could have made which again is annoying because we know her to be like this very smart and reliable like intelligent clever person but like she was so impulsive and like didn't think things through and like just acted out of sheer panic and like it was just so annoying because that's not the character i know and i just i hated the second part like so much that it completely took over like the kind of like i had of the first part because it was just it was stupid and i just want to forget that it existed that means you have arrived to today i haven't read anything yet today and you might say like it's late why are you trying i really want to read i just had a family thing today and like my, my cousin birthday yesterday i went to celebrate that today and i was spending the day with the family now i kind of have the dilemma that i really want to read these three books and i don't really know which one to read first we have bitter by quickie and Men gallon by v schwab and book of nights by holly black 
and the problem is i kind of was hoping to like continue on with like a little bit of a spooky team and like all of these have like a little like dog like mystery element to them so that doesn't help me deciding between these either so i want to think i'm going to do is to just read the first chapter out of all three of these books and then decide what to read okay so i've read the first chapter of all of these books not enough with a gallon by v schwab i truly don't remember a single thing that happened in this first chapter but if i remember correctly it takes place at like a school if i let him know this book has nothing to do with school so i feel like that first chapter was like didn't really tell me much about the story so i'm i i'm still really want to read this but like it's not high priority right now and i'm a bit of a quick year might see and i really like this first chapter i thought it immediately like threw me in the world like brought up some like important discussion points already that this book is gonna deal with but like overall i just i don't know didn't really feel that invested in it however book of night by holly black ripped me from the first chapter and i know this is one a lot of people don't like so i'm a little bit hesitant to go into this one but i feel like the first chapter like they're all around like the same length but i feel like this first chapter like did the most like it, i have a very good sense of our main character already i have a like vague sense of this world but like not too vague that i'm not confused but like vague enough to like keep me intrigued and i seem like we're getting like a little semblance of storyline which makes me very excited to continue on with this book so that is what I'll be doing tomorrow. I'm I'm really tired. I completely underestimated how tired I was. And I noticed while I was reading. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog right here. And then on a cliffhanger. Because if you want to know my thoughts on this book. You're going to have to wait until next week. But just know that. Honestly, you kind of have my TBR for next week already. It's Book of Night, Bitter, and Gallant. In that order. I'm going to read them in. So if you want to know my thoughts on the books. I don't know if I'll get to all three of these <laughs> next week. But if you want to know my thoughts on at least Book of Night, definitely go check out next week's vlog. Stick around for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.